Happy Halloween! Indeed. Indeed. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween. For our first Halloween episode, uh, we are going to be eating a bunch of random candy. Lots and lots of random candy. Yeah, some is some of it is American candy from like the 70s and 80s, and then the rest of it is from Japan, Taiwan, China, and Korea. I, I just see more sweet chips, I think, which I'm scared of. They're not sweet chips. They're savory chips. Oh. They're the only savory thing in this bag, so you might want to savor them. <laughs> the first thing that we're going to have um, is called, it's a, 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 a brand of chocolates called Melty. Melty. Kiss. Melty Kiss, yeah, that's right. Am I reading? The yeah, you are. Melty Kiss chocolates from Japan, and they are yuzu flavored. Uh, for those of you who don't know, yuzu is like a lemon and an orange hybrid. If it's anything like a chocolate orange, this is going to be amazing. So trick or treat. There's your, there's your Melty Kiss. Thanks. What are you supposed to there's say in kiss. response to like trick or treat? Thank you, you fucking ungrateful son of a bitch. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Cheers. Bing. <laughs> You're just doing the whole thing? No. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Oh my god, no times a million. Really? These are good. I could eat these all day. Oh yeah, they're actually not that bad when you get into it. I like it though. I like that aggressive bitterness. Mm -hmm. And then it just follows through with that amazing citrusy, <laughs> chocolatey. Kind of Are you trying to like whip out your big cooking dick in front of me? Because I'm not interested in sucking. Uh, the next item are these uh, chocolate filled marshmallows from Japan. They're called Rich Chocolate Marshmallow. So I guess they've done well for themselves financially. Um, <laughs> oh, this hello, sir. Interesting. It is weird. It has the consistency of a memory foam pillow. This Let's bite into these bad boys, as I always say. It's like eating a sponge almost. Honestly, I think the reason it has a texture of a memory foam pillow is because it's made of the same stuff. Because <laughs> in my mouth, it just feels like I'm chewing on a pillow. <laughs> it's like, I could see how you could eat a whole bag of these. <laughs> what? <laughs> what do you mean? I just feel like chocolate. They're like chocolate Tic Tacs inside of like a cloud. <laughs> chocolate Tic Tacs! <laughs> Oreos with a peach oolong tea filling. Wow. <laughs> yeah, isn't that so random? Your one biscuit is on backwards. I was passing this to you, but I guess, yeah. They Look did. at it. They f***ed it up. What a manufacturing failure. Yeah, just smell it. I want to see what you think when you it smell it. It just smells like uh, peach juice. Yeah. You know that but Tim like... Horton's peach juice? No. <laughs> you don't know the Timmy Ho's peach J? This episode is sponsored by Tim Horton's. <laughs> Cheers! Cheers! Mmm! Do these flavors complement each other? Not one bit! <laughs> I'm so confused! Oh, there's like a sugar dance happening at the end. Do you feel that? Mm? The sugars just turn on a light on your tongue? <laughs> You're not having a sugar dance? With Sugar Ray and his sugar mama? <laughs> This episode is sponsored by Sugar Ray Sugar Mama. <laughs> sugar Ray Sugar Mama! I don't understand. I'm gonna try the whole I thing. I don't where you understand eat the cream. any of it. Peach and chocolate do not belong together. Kit Kat salt lychee flavor. For, oh, the smell that puffed out of that bag. Really? I'm oh. oh my god, it smells like fresh lychee. <laughs> Oh, wow. Right? There's a powerful odor of lychee in there. It is intense. Oh my god. It's funny because the packets don't smell like anything. Maybe they just spray lychee juice in there. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. 
Oh my god, it smells so good. I could live in there. Okay, should we eat this thing? Mm. Mm. For how crazily it smells of lychee, it doesn't taste that much like it. It tastes like rose water. We're gonna have a little palate cleanser for ourselves. So we're going with a classic gum called Thrills, and the slogan is, it still tastes like soap. Okay, so here's Thrills gum. It's purple, Sometimes it looks like a chiclet. Um, this episode is sponsored by chiclets. Um, are, you, are you ready? Yes. Come to me, soap, dear. Apparently. It is now the end of your life. <laughs> it still tastes like soap is an accurate description. <laughs> it tastes like laundry detergent. No, dude, this tastes like the weird kind of like herbal soaps my mom used to have. <laughs> <laughs> like, I shit you not. Shit that's got like actual like pieces of herb in it. Like, is it weird it's... that like I still like it though? I mean, man, right at the get go, I was not a fan. It's a bit overwhelming, but yeah, it's okay. But then it gave me a thrill. So these are Lay's from China, and oh. this is spicy crayfish flavor. Oh, and this is cucumber. Oh, that, oh, it smells terrible. Can I smell yours? Yeah. <laughs> I'll smell yours if you smell mine. Oh, what the f it, it smells like, it smells like the boots that the fucking sailor was wearing when he <laughs> caught the shrimp. <laughs> what the f <laughs> I got crayfish in my toes. Okay, cucumber first. Yeah, okay. Now I'm interested how they're gonna get the freshness and like amazingness of cucumber into chips. It's weird because I feel like cucumber is not a taste thing. It's a it's an experience. Yeah, the whole crunch and refreshing. The water. Yeah, yeah. I know. The hydration, the rejuvenation. Mmm. I mean, like it's got a little bit of like mint. So that it's got like this, it leaves this fresh aftertaste in your mouth so that you feel like you just ate cucumber. Maybe it has menthol in it. Spicy crayfish. I'm like sitting here. <laughs> hmm. Oh. It's like prawn cocktail, but not on the prawn cocktail chips, you know? It smells like if a fish could exercise and then it would sweat, <laughs> that's what this smells like. <laughs> it's very seafood, but then not. Yeah, I don't mind it. Okay, one of the ingredients is literally edible essence. <laughs> <laughs> what the f is that? <laughs> edible essence, that's it. No further description. It's a marijuana perfume. This episode is sponsored by Edible Essence. <laughs> Find the high in you. This is a yes. lemon candy by Noble, a Japanese candy company. Um, it's called Super Lemon. There's a little comic on the back. Is it like super sour? That says Super Lemon and they hold it up and they both eat the Super Lemon. And then they both have oh, uh, bursts of light come out of their mouth. They go, oh, juicy. And it does advertise that it is covered in lemon taste powder. <laughs> lemon taste powder, it's gonna be sour, dude. These look like they've been rolled in chalk. <laughs> oh, right away! You right? <laughs> it's really sour. Is it? Oh, I, I broke mine open. Do you recommend doing that? Mm -hmm. I'm just waiting for the point where we get to the juicy part. Oh, I tried to break mine open and a little snap, like broke a... Oh! They're good. Juicy. <laughs> We're gonna now have uh, plum candies. I don't know if I can do another one. Like, Let's I'm just not lick lie. it and spit the it out. The first one's like, that was oh, a lot of Oh, calm down, drama queen. <laughs> okay, ready? That girl's a one stage teenage drama queen. All right, but she's a somebody. Mm, nectarine. No, oh, plum, you dip. So the next up is a uh, fun taffy snack yeah. called Abba Zabba. That's from the 80s. Um, and Abba this, Zabba. Abba Zabba. This is the mystery flavor. So we're going to have to guess what this mystery flavor is. <gasps> it's white? What, what is that? <laughs> oh my God. 
it's in another plastic thing that I have to unwrap, but it's just the flu itself. What is this? <laughs> There's probably a reason this is discontinued. <laughs> smells good though. <laughs> I don't know what direction to chew that in. <laughs> is the mystery that there's no flavor? <laughs> Did they just f this one up and forget to add the coloring and the flavor? <laughs> Look, I got like a leftover from the factory. This flavor is a mystery. <laughs> I'll tell you that. It takes some real detective work to figure out what's going on here. This is not good. There's no flavor. Is that what the mystery is? Doesn't even smell like anything. I genuinely feel like someone <laughs> was not at his station on the conveyor belt that day. <laughs> For sure. Wow. I feel like this needs to come with an epilepsy warning. <laughs> <laughs> like what, what's happening on this picture? <laughs> Um, anyway, so these are all different soda flavor gummies. So I'm just gonna pour them in there and then you can pick the color you like. Okay, I just want not- And then I'm gonna frame this on my wall outside my door to get rid of that epileptic robber that's been coming in at night. I'm gonna go for grape. <laughs> that epileptic thief. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> There's sherbet in them, dude. Inside? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> They're like open up to reveal more sugar. Mmm. <laughs> These are great. It's like a fairy jizzes on your tongue. <laughs> All right. Watermelon flavored striking popping candy. Oh my. I'm excited for this. All right, so I feel like this is just gonna be general popping candy, but I've never done popping candy while on drugs before, so this is gonna be a very interesting, uh, Mr. Bond. <laughs> There's like some ASMR fans jerking themselves off of this right now. This is cool. Mm -hmm. This must be how the universe was created. <laughs> <laughs> I highly doubt that. It is so wild. I'm gonna go for one more round. <laughs> this is fun. What's not to enjoy? That's like a song that's being played on my tie spots. <laughs> 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 it is so weird. We should speak in pop rocks. <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> I might go for one more hit. I might take a hit off the sweet, the sweet pop juice. Man, you're... I am bad. I am giving blowies at a bus station for this stuff kind of addictive. <laughs> I just want to take a ride on the sweet pop train. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love it. It makes me <laughs> dance. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! We've got uh, hazardously sour candy, toxic waste over here. <clears throat> Rob just told me it's the most sour candy in the world. According to Google. Wait, wait. The US government says candy imported from Pakistan called toxic waste is not safe to eat. <laughs> oh boy! Wait, is it from Pakistan? Yeah. It Does is. it say that? Uh, Pakistan? <laughs> um, that is the first thing I've ever seen in my life that was made in Pakistan that wasn't a person. Whoa, 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 whoa. Consuming more than one within a brief time may cause 
irritation to mouth? Sensitive individuals should not consume this product. <laughs> what? I'm so sensitive. I cry almost always during movies. All right, let's see. Right away, it's very sour. Okay, sourness takes a little bit, I think, for me. Okay, there it's coming. Oh my god. Ah! Honestly, not that bad. But it wasn't like. Did you see me fucking had whatever the opposite of an orgasm is? <laughs> That's what that face is. Well, I hate Halloween. <laughs> I don't like Halloween.